I don't really believe in feel hitters. Um, you know, guys are just going to the cage and just, what are you, what are you swinging? I'm just trying to find that feel. Like I just, to me, it doesn't. I don't know. I'm more of like, no, no, that looks right. I don't care what you feel like. I don't care if it feels like crap. If you go out there and you do that and you get three hits, I guarantee it's going to feel good. Hey everybody, I'm your host Courtney Cox and welcome into the Nesson Digital Studios for another episode of Red Sox Now. If anybody knows what they're talking about, it is that guy. But we've seen more of J.D. Martinez's bats lately than in the beginning of the season, even though the Red Sox record may not reflect that. Let's take a look. In the beginning of the season, we kicked things off hot, on fire, 17-2 and two for the Sox. And then in the last 23 games, the Sox came down to earth. They're 11-12, and 12, not exactly what you want to see if you are a Red Sox fan. The Sox have struggled in this last series with the Oakland A's, losing 6-5 on Monday and 5-3 on Tuesday. Not what you want to see. Dreary losses with some seriously dreary weather. We got a nice weather report from Hanley Ramirez. Thanks to our guy, Rob Bradford. Hi, we are fun with Pipe right now. You can see right now it's going to start raining right now. So let's see what's going to happen in the next few hours. It might. Uh, we don't know. What, what do you think, Gunna Gums? Uh, as of right now, I got about uh, 845 start. And uh, stay tuned to the what's it, what's Bradford the show. The show called Haley, Haley and Gomes. <laughs> Love to see Johnny Gomes slide in there at the end. The Red Sox will close out this series at Fenway Park tonight, 7, 10 p.m. against the Oakland A's. Hopefully you'll have tickets to be there, and hopefully it will stay dry for everyone in attendance. Now let's go back to J.D. Martinez. The biggest pickup for the Red Sox this offseason has been impressing us so far. 157 at-bats, he's got 11 home runs on 54 hits, nice 34 RBI. J.D. Martinez has been making Red Sox Nation excited for the future. And from the future to the past, from J.D. to Dustin Pedroia, Pedroia just played in his first game since October when he underwent knee surgery during the offseason. He played five innings and went one for three with a single and run scored for the Paw Sox. So you know we had cameras there. Pretty pretty happy about it. Um, it's my first game in a long time, so you know everything felt great. Um, you know, so you know I'm pretty happy. I mean it. It's been a while, so um, you know if I felt good up there, um, I hit three balls on the barrel, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, I got to get some more bats to to lock in, but um, you know everything everything went great. And since Dustin has been gone, the Sox-Yankees rivalry has seemed to heat up on the field. One Yankees insider is blaming one person in particular for a Yankees loss to the Sox. That guy, A-Rod. Yep, you can see it right here. Page six, the trusted page six. Tweeting out that a Yankees insider blames A-Rod's bad juju for a loss to Red Sox. Uh, him and J-Lo were at a game. The Yankees obviously lost to the Red Sox. They have to place blame, so why not go to a beloved figure in the Yankees world? And the Red Sox keep giving us gifts on social media. Please do not stop. I'm loving these. And while the guys are really skilled in baseball, they also might have backup issues. Uh, this one in music, as you can see, there's Hanley. They're all playing uh, the drums. They're singing. They look like they could have a backup career. Or what about photography? Yep, that's Brock Holt who was behind the camera taking photos of his teammates. And these, these beauties are the results. And honestly, I think a lot of people would buy the, buy the pictures. They could have Brock maybe sign them. Those are good shots. And it was Mother's Day on Sunday, so uh, Nesson Clubhouse took a crack at it and gave us cuteness overload. Oh, and did I mention Hanley Ramirez buys very nice gifts? Hi, I'm Michael. On Mother's Day, I gave my mom a candle what did you give your mom for Mother's Day? Hi, Michael. Let me tell you something. I, I think you can do better than candy, okay? Let's step it up. I give my mom, she got a purse, she got a new car, and she got a new apartment. Every Mother's Day, I try to send my mom flowers and a gift card of some sort, whether it be uh, to her favorite places, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those uh, ends of shopping, or whether it's uh, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I don't remember. I usually 
I usually, uh, my go-to is edible arrangements. Can't, can't really go wrong there. Some chocolate and some fruit. Oh, I think last year I got her a necklace um, with the birthstones of myself and my two sisters. My name is Nia. I went with my grandma um, and we, we got my mom some flowers and chocolates. And then when we went there, my mom also got my grandma um, something. So it was like a double surprise. What do you do your, for your mom on Mother's Day? Uh, make sure I send her some flowers and a card, and uh, just make sure I call her and tell her how much I love her. Uh, I send her a card. Uh, usually I'm away playing baseball during Mother's Day. I usually send her a card uh, and some flowers as well. I do the same thing with my mom and my dad. I like to call them if, if we're not spending time together. Um, catch up. To, if, if we're on the phone, catch up. Obviously tell her that I love her. Um, let her know how special she is. And we, we like to spend those days together, though. It's, it's more fun to, to spend time with each other than it is, uh, you know, maybe sending a gift or, you know, shooting a call or a text. If that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. If you like what you saw and want to see more of it, you can catch Nesson Clubhouse on Nesson on Sundays throughout the Red Sox season. That will do it for this episode of Red Sox Now. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Cordy Cox, and I will see you next time.